Hey, good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Cedric Gagle and I'm an actor and filmmaker. I said good morning. It's probably not morning when you're watching this, but it's morning when I'm recording it. And that's exciting. I'm a morning person. I'm not going to take a ton of time before we start this video, but I did want to really quickly thank you all for a thousand subscribers. That's amazing. I, I didn't expect that. Um, so thank you so much. That's just great. Like 1,500 people out there care what I have to say about these things. And that's weird, but exciting. Thank you. And before we jump into this, I I don't like it when reactors plug things. That's why like my social media is just on screen. The rea like and subscribe thing is just on screen. I don't like it when I take up your time asking you to do these things. But I do really quickly want to ask. There's a link in the caption. It should be right at the top. Uh, for a horror film. It's called Window with a View. It's shooting in Kentucky next year. It is a film that I am in, and uh, COVID has really kind of done a number on the finances of the film and kind of hurt where they were. It was supposed to go into production uh, way earlier this year, but thankfully they've been able to hold on. They're still going to do it. Um, but if you could go there and if you um, feel so led, if you could give $5, $10, whatever you need um, to that that would mean the world to me. It would mean the world to that production. It's a really cool, really exciting film. I've been involved with it for a while now. Um, and just seeing the team grow and the people that are in it, I'm really, really excited about it. And it would mean a lot to the filmmakers that have worked so hard to make that happen. If you could give, uh, if you can't, but you don't want to, I understand. But um, if you feel like, yeah, that's something I could do, that would really mean the world to a lot of people. There's a lot of people involved with it that are really pouring their, their hearts into this. So that would be really great. I know Halloween just ended, so it's a little bit after the point. But anyway, so today's video is BTS on Kinetic Manifesto. I'm excited for this. Here we go. Take a much needed sip of coffee. It's still very hot. Big hit. Entertainment. Cool. Okay, um, I really, I'm one of those people that like dances when I like a beat. I'm sorry, I know it's probably distracting. Uh, starting with the cinematography, when the camera pulls down on that opening shot, you see the full army that's there, the full group of people in black. It starts to, we call pedestal down, just really just kind of swooping down, the dollying forward. And what you see is that group, they all become lines, which sort of has this idea that they're all a unit, right? And then... They're matching with, I guess it's a dam or a bridge of some kind behind them, but they're they're almost lined up with that. So again, I talked in a video about cinematography using vertical lines. That's exactly how you do it. Another thing that's really interesting about this is that they're using really harsh shadows. Um, often in film, we really try to avoid shooting from like 11.30 a.m. to like 3 p.m. because the sun is so harsh that it just, I mean, unless you want that, it just looks not great on camera everything gets washed out but for the purposes of this i think that's exactly what they're going for these lyrics talk about shadows i remember from the music video they're creating shadows i think someone mentioned that uh this is very like jungian that it's very carl jung i remember from psychology class that he talked about kind of the different selves and that the shadow if i remember right is like an animalistic side sort of like our 
um, evolutionary traits of being afraid of like the dark or the shadows. And so it, I guess it makes sense. I talked in my music video interpretation about how I thought that they were kind of talking about themselves becoming what they are now, um, literally in evolution, right? So that's kind of an early take. This dancing is already so good. It's so good. I love the, that they're, they're drumming but on nothing. That's just artistry. It's just great. Mm. Oh, that shot. That shot, the way it swoops in and out. Um, I wonder how many takes they tried to shoot this in because you can see the sun moving on different shots. You can see that the shadows have changed directions or are longer. I mean, they could be adding some fill light, but it's pretty, pretty hard to overpower the sun, especially in a location like this. So they probably just leaned into it. Um, the camera work in this is, is in a lot of ways, it's, it's almost subtle, except for some shots like the what was likely a drone, potentially a steady cam, where they kind of pushed in and then passed. Was that RM? I'm learning their names. The camera work is really there to accent the dance. This video is a lot more focused on the dance, um, which I know you, you all told me. The dancing is so, I mean, all dance is intentional, right? That's what choreographers are for. It's, it's meant to mean something, but it feels a little bit violent when you're watching it. It feels a little bit explosive. There's a little bit of, of arrogance to it. And I mean that intentionally. I'm not saying they're arrogant. I mean they're dancing in an arrogant manner, which is meant to to show something. Um, the one where they were on the line and they were kind of dipping together, dipping together, stand up, head twitch, right? It's meant to evoke a certain feeling in the viewer and it's working, it's great. Is that a truck backing up? All right, here we go. Mm. Oh, that little skip that they did. Just note how simple something is as subtle as just shifting a heel. Just by shifting the heel and then letting their arms pump up with it, that's a really easy move, but it looks so good. Dance doesn't have to be complicated. It has to mean something and look good. Okay, a bunch of things, a bunch of things. Uh, I talked last time about their relationship with the camera, which is really, really special and really cool to watch. Note right there on the downbeat to the chorus, how um, at first I was like, I'll memorize the group members by their hair color. That is not a good idea. Uh, he kind of puts his hand out and then, uh, right? He kind of pushes up and down and the camera goes up, down, but they cut on the down it literally makes you feel as a viewer like you are falling into the downbeat. So the relationship between artist, song, camera, which is also art, but 
those three are so cohesive. I should also note, someone said that there's a drum corps. I can't remember who it is. I want to say it's the Blue Coats or the Blue Devils. I'm not like a devout drum corps fan, but I've I have I probably watched more drum corps than most people. Um, I love drum corps, even though I don't watch a ton of it. I it's so good, it's so good. The, the high school marching band kid in me just loves it. So I think including them and having them use the snares the way they did, it, especially in that dance, kind of as the background, making a cross with you know biblical imagery was in the music video, making a cross with their drumsticks actually playing the snares. Um, it's a nice nod back to the drummer boy concept from the on music video. So it's, they're, they're doing a lot to kind of call back. I actually don't know which one came first. I would assume the official music video came first, but, um, there's a lot of, of, um, both similarities and in a small way, tension between the two that they are very, very different concepts. But then again, this sort of also calls back the idea of the wall that, this flat surface that they're dancing on, which I think is probably a dam. That dance as they're coming over. Nice. Making a straight line. Oh. This is a great way to do this, to have them all just walking forward. So notice on, I'm not gonna sing it that high because I have not warmed up uh, and my neighbors wouldn't appreciate that. It's pretty early in the morning. Um, but when he's got the God no fears, right? Instead of going fears, which is how we say the word, you go, God, no face. He's going, fez, fez. He doesn't have to say the R. I think he says tears too. God, no tears, God, no face. Right? He doesn't have to say it. It helps him get those high notes because fez is much more breathy. You have much more control over that than fears. You have, you have to see how I say that. Fears versus fez. Right? You can push a lot more. Got no fears. And when you're going up that high, got no fears. I don't know how high it is. Um, but when you're up that high, you can push more air through in a much more controlled way from the diaphragm. So it's a very controlled, and it also makes it sound kind of angelic, ethereal, very otherworldly to have that. Got, got no fears. You think about um, Frozen 2 into the... Is it Into the Unknown where they have the... Right? She's sort of doing a very open-mouthed, weird vowel choice with that, but it kind of creates a, a sense of otherworldliness. These trucks have got to stop backing up. I am trying to talk. Now he's squeezing a little bit more vocally, just to create a sound. See again, relationship with the camera. That was dope. Do it. Ah, uh, okay. A couple of things. It's amazing how, especially on the move that he does with the... It looks like he's just like hitting himself. Every one of those hits is completely intentional. And they probably all mean something. That's why the choreographer picked them. The kicks on the beats. This becomes so instantly so high energy. BTS needs to do a Super Bowl halftime show. And it needs to be when fans are allowed at the game. So give it a couple years. I think at this point we all want them to do a halftime show but I want to see it with fans around them. Um, although, even if they weren't, even if they were just this year's halftime show and there's no one else in the stadium, it would be one of the best halftime shows 
ever. I, I have no doubt. Um, they're so electric. They're so electric. <laughs> See how they're doing everything on the beat. Everything, especially on those heavy beats, is when they're doing a lot of the big movements. Really complicated feet work there. Nice shimmy with the shoulders. Using a lot of the camera to really amp up what they're doing. Sorry, I should pause when I'm saying that. They're using a lot of the camera work cutting from wides to close-ups to mediums. Moving shots, not moving shots, push-ins, pulleys, pulleys, dollies. Um, to, to accent what's going on. So they might have gotten special shots for a lot of these dance moves if they knew that, oh, there's a kick on this beat and we're going to push in and pull back on that. They probably got specials for that. Um, I would assume they probably shot this in sequ sequence. A lot of times when we film things, we shoot out of sequence for whatever reason, certain cast members, certain lighting that we're going for. But I assume for lighting for this, they probably shot in sequence. So they were probably pretty tired when they got to this part. Maybe they shot this like the day before, if the weather was the same, that would make sense. I would start with this. If I was directing this, I'd be like, we got to do the dance break first because you're going to be dead. Um, but everything that they're doing is very beat centric. It's very, you know, in time, in time, in time, hitting something. It's very militaristic, which... You know, so was the music video. So again, that's that's the cohesion that we talk about. And they do it with so much energy, so much passion, so much love, so much anger, even, right? You know, I, I, I talked before, I think the song is a little bit about losing yourself to find yourself in the chaos that we feel as artists, as we're trying to do this. And there seems to be anger. A lot of these dance moves are punches or very violent gestures. They're kicks. They, they almost seem angry. But then they follow by smiling or doing something like that. And that's sort of the um, the attitude of, of the artist is that it's a very frustrating and sometimes very uh, a career that can get you down. And then other times, you know, it's when you're high, you're high. When you're low, you're low. Um, and that's just sort of the, the journey that you go on. It's much more cool now. Delicious. I knew it wasn't done. Much more subtle dance moves now, but again, it it feels like they're now more at peace. Oh, nice, nice, nice. And now it's much more aggressive. Blue hair, totally blanking on the name. Obviously one of the dancers of the group. Is it Suga? Probably not. I'm sorry. Exceptional dancer. Know that they have, when did this happen? They have the whole German Bugle Corps out there now. I don't know when that happened. I love that sound. I wish I could have been on set this day and just, I don't, they're probably not actually playing, but anyway. Nice. Doing a lot of push in, pull back, push in. Arms around each other. And then ending on a pretty similar to the way it started. Yeah, they are. This is the first video where, like, I know they're good dancers, but this is the first time where I'm like, no, they're, like, world class. Um, I mean, no, I knew they were world class. Obviously, they're world class. But I guess this is kind of the first time I've experienced just how good they are. I'm definitely going to watch the dance rehearsals for this. I think it's actually in my suggested. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm definitely going to watch the dance rehearsals. I'm really intrigued to see how the rehearsal with the, it's the Blue Devils. I'm going to look that up. Give me one sec. It is the Blue Devils, especially with rehearsing how the Blue Devils um, rehearsed with them. I thought that it's amazing how one song can inspire so many different interpretations as a music video. And yet, you know, the core truth still still sits there in the song, which is 
this idea of shadows of the separate self, of the public self and the private self, of the losing of self, of the finding of self, of the love that they feel for those who support them, of the journey that they've been on, that's still hyper-present in this, except now, instead of conveying it through doves and conch shells, they're conveying it through dance and through harsh lighting that gives us a really kind of fully lit half of a face and then a contrasted half of a face of violent dance moves that are done with passion and love of you know an army that's with them that's then making music uh kind of reminds me of the disturbed sound of silence music video how they all kind of found their instruments and brought music back i wonder if if that is a dan that they shot on i feel like there's a metaphor there too of of stopping the rising tide for a moment stopping the flow and recognizing where you are and realizing that you do have control maybe i'm reading too much maybe they just found a location and they were like it's a nice dam we like this dam we're gonna film here <sighs> they are really great they're really really fun they're really really gifted i want to see them do a super bowl halftime show i haven't even seen them perform live this is all just music videos but they have to be i wonder if i would even like their dancing more live Thank you so much for recommending this. I really loved it. And it's so cool to see what they would do with the same song. I don't feel like the music was even different. I think it was just the same song. Maybe they added a little bit of the drum and bugle core. I didn't listen for it. Let me see if I can hear it. They're not there yet. Okay, maybe I didn't notice it the first time, but... I'm hearing at least low brass. And here come the... I can see the sousaphones marching in. I don't know if the instruments were in the music video. Actually, like the the like sousaphones and and whatnot. I don't know if those were in the the music video musically. Maybe they added that in here. Either way, it's cool to see it and then hear it. Maybe that just draws it to your attention. I just thought it was a great take. I love both takes on it. This has become a real source of joy for me over these past two weeks. Uh, so. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's been a very stressful time around the world for the past several months, and particularly here in the U.S. for the past several days. I'm recording this on Friday morning. The election was on Tuesday. We still do not have a set answer. So it's it's been uh, a pretty long week here. Um, so this, um, this has been a nice burst of, of joy and energy this morning. So thank you for sharing that with me. Thank you for watching, and don't forget, the link in my description is for Window with a View. It really would mean so much to so many people if you could um, give a little bit. And if you can't, I totally understand. Um, no no judgment there. But if you can, that would mean a lot to a lot of people, and it, it you know, might be the difference in getting that film made. So thank you so much.